Hey lovelies, it's Imogen. I know it's been forever, but I decided that I finally get back onto YouTube. So today is January 1st, Happy New Year. And I'm going to do an unboxing of Scribbles That Matter. I bought the B6 size and I bought the white and black, which has got the white paper. So I actually purchased the one that is 200 pages of 120 GSM. Now I believe you can get one that I think it's 160 GSM, but it's only 150 pages. But it's really great if you're doing more like wet media. So if you're using like fountain pens or wet inks or anything like that, that would be brilliant. But as I said, I got the 120 because I only really plan to do some light stamping and use pens that have worked in bullet journals that I have that are, I think 90 GSM something like that anyway I diverse so this I thought I'd do a little unboxing so at first I'm loving the size I did discover that with bullet journals two of my major problems was that if I had something that was personal sized or a6 or pocket that it was too small and I didn't have enough room to do what I wanted to do but if I bought a big like a5 size one that it was too big I had too much white space I absolutely hated it and it was what mainly put me off bullet journaling. So then when I discovered that I could actually get a B6, I was like, yes. And it is so cute. I'm absolutely in love with this. So it is, as you can see, it's got the little sleevey thing on it. And if we have a look at the sleeve, it says that it has a key code page, index page, numbered pages, premium quality paper, that it lays flat design, attached pen loop, which I believe is also reinforced. Yeah, it's reinforced with a little grommet, which we like that. Uh, it's vegan leather and it feels quite leathery. It's really nice. Expansive inner pocket, two bookmarks. So we have a black one and a white one, which we'll see shortly. And we also have rounded corners, which I love rounded corners. Uh, so it's a Scribbles That Matter Limited and it's got their details on there. Now I do believe on the Amazon listing, that it says it also comes with a pen, which it does have the triangular scribbles that matter pen. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's sort of black on black. And it does say scribbles that matter, fine liner, 04. So I assume that's a 0 0.4 millimeter, but I'm not too clued up on pens. It also said that it comes with um, like a measuring guide. Is that an expandable pocket? No, I don't know where the measuring guide thing is. I don't know that in here no it looks like the measuring guide is not here so I don't know what that is about it does have the scribbles that matter dot embossed on the spine so then when we open her up if we get that pen out of the way for a second we have a space where you could put a key so if you follow the bullet journal method by Ryder Carroll if you follow this and you do like the uh the things that he says in there so you have the the key cards now in the past i've been much more into the pretty planning side of this and not so much into actually doing the Ryder carol bullet journal style which i think this year i need to actually go to the basics and do the basics because i get so hung up on the pretty side of things that i end up not using it and i become overwhelmed and it that's a whole other video i will go into more detail, do a whole video just on my personal thoughts of bullet journaling. Then you have the next page is a space where you can write this book belongs to or your name or whatever you date it, title it, whatever you want to do there. And this is actually like a really thick card, this, this leaf. And then you get onto the first sort of section and it does say B6 dotted 120 GSM. And then you turn and you have your first set of index pages or contents pages, whatever you like to call this, so that you can index where your, where your stuff is. So we have one, two, three, four, just four of them. And then it goes into this, which is a really nice white. And I wish that you could see because my light in it here is not the best, but we do have a whole bunch of numbered, let's see. You get 214 pages. So there's actually more pages than I believe that there was. And they're all numbered pages. So that's even better if there's more than 200 in here. There it is. Let's see. And then right at the back, we have two pen test pages. Is it just the two pen test pages? 
yeah it's just the two fantastic pages which this one doesn't make much sense because this is actually a much thicker cardstock so you wouldn't really be able to tell on this page so really it is this page and I will probably borrow a couple of extra pages because I do plan to do stamping and I want to test out some of my stamping inks and some inks that I want to get for bullet journaling. Then in the back, as it said, we have the expandable pocket. I don't know how well you can see this. So if I try and tip it up, you can see it's got quite a decent pocket actually. Some of these only have sort of like a, it only really goes to there. But this is quite an expandable pocket. It's got a really nice pattern on these pages. It has the scribbles that matter.com slash surprise. So I suppose if we go on there, we will have a surprise. And then again, it's got the trademark STM dot there and they reinforce, you can just about see the little grommet inside there. And it's got this elastic pen loop, which really does seem quite stretchy. Um, I'm hoping a Pilot G207 will fit in it because that is like my go-to pen. And I'm hoping to do this whole thing in black and white. So it does have the black stretchy cord, which stretchy cords, I find sometimes like, especially in summer, if it's left in like say hot cars or what have you, the, the elastic does tend to go, but I'm not even really upset about that at this point. And then as I said, it has two bookmarks. So if I can just get to the bookmarks, there we go. There is a black one and a white one. So we have the two ribbon bookmarks, which I will probably keep, but I might end up removing. I don't know. I definitely know I'm not going to be adding any book, any ribbon bookmarks to this. I do have a tutorial on my old channel that I no longer have access to. Um, so I may try and edit that and repost it to this channel. And I also have another video that I did do in my Crew Vardis uh, Blackout Journal where I added some bookmarks. But yes, so it does have a slight indentation where the elastic is um, pulling on the faux leather. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's not a massive deal breaker. I'm not really upset with it. I absolutely am really pleased that I got the white and I really like the black accents and I hope to do, as I said, a monochrome black and white with gray. So everything's gonna be like black, white and gray. And I might do like a tiny bit of color, but off the bat, that's what I'm thinking. I'm also thinking I might ink up the edges of all my pages to make it more gothic and grungy. So I will definitely do more videos in the future and it'll be in a gothy slash witchy slash grungy alternative style because that is my aesthetic, that is my life, that is what I do, that's what I like. Uh, which I know is not for everybody, but I did just want to jump on here and do this little unboxing for anybody who was interested in this because I don't believe there is a video on this particular one on YouTube. So I hope it helps somebody. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, Happy New Year, and I will see you in the near future. So take care. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you're still here, thank you very much for watching till the end. I really do appreciate it. If you like the kind of gothy alternative bullet journals and art journaling, crafting and more, that is what I'm planning on bringing you this year. So please feel free to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of my future uploads. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you're using this year for your bullet journal. If you're into bullet journals, or just simply let's have a chat. I'd like to make some friends.